So the women are away in this women's 1500 metre finals. There's been some great races so far this season between Kayla McKnight and Georgie Clark. Also Lisa Corrigan getting herself back into shape. A former Australian representative. These girls will settle down in the early stages. We'd expect to see a very tactical affair. The times have been very fast. Rebecca Green, the New Zealander, taking up the pace in the early stages of the women's 1500 metres. Melissa Duncan just sitting in there. Bridie Delaney gone very, very wide there into about lane number three. She's in personal best shape this year, running at four minutes 14 at the Sydney Track Classic for the New South Wales Welshman. So it's Rebecca Green from New Zealand leading the way. Melissa Duncan from Victoria into second place. Looks like Zoe Buckman from the ACT there in third position. Three laps to go in the women's 1500. Kelly Young right in there. McKnight on the inside there in about third or fourth position. Georgie Clark content to sit just behind them. The pace is not fast, so all these girls finding it quite easy. Corrigan and Delaney are very wide there at the back of the field, but the pace is not fast enough to trouble them. About 69 and a half seconds through 400 metres. And it's Green, the New Zealand, just starting to open a couple of strides out in front. Buckman um, from the ACT now moving to second. Still Melissa Duncan there, Victoria running third, having a very good run. The Victorian, McKnight, the defending champion in fourth position. Georgie Clark there on her inside and Kelly Young, the New South Wales champion. So it's very close. Nothing's really happening at this stage in the early stages of the women's 1500 metre final. I'll come past the main grandstand for the second last, for the third last time. In fact, so they'll come back with two laps to go. So it's still very early stages. First 400 in just under 70 seconds. So this pace is not strong. It's still green from New Zealand leading the way. Buckman into second. On the inside there is Melissa Duncan, Kayla McKnight in fourth position, Kelly Young, Georgie Clark and Lyndon Hall are those three athletes almost running side by side just behind our leading group of four runners. But every runner is in with a chance including Australian mile record holder Galisa Corrigan is at the back of this field but not to be too worried, the pace is not too fast, no one's really prepared to make a move at this stage so it's still green leading the way, 220 at 800 metres so they've kept it about that 70 second tempo. Still green leading the way. Zoe Buckman into second place. Kayla McKnight, all the field is still close enough, if good enough. So no one's prepared to make a move at this stage. Still green, the New Zealander leading the way. Buckman there, they're starting to make their moves now from the back of the field. But Kayla McKnight's in a very good position in about third. She's prepared to cover anything that's going to happen. We've got Kelly Young and also Lyndon Hall. We've also got the Tasmanian in there, Melanie Daniels. She's still close enough, so any runner with a chance here, they're coming past the main straight for the second last time. They're going to hear the sound of the bell. It's going to be the last lap in the Women's 1500 Metre Championship of Australia. Kayla McKnight now starting to move to the front position. Georgie Clark climbing on Zoe Buckman. In fact, that is, they've got the same colours here, but it's Buckman there moving to the front now with a lap to go. McKnight going with it. Georgie Clark in about third or fourth position with Kelly Young, the New South Welshman. Rebecca Green still there from New Zealand hanging on and she's starting to respond to the Increase in pace made by Zoe Buckman. So Zoe Buckman spending most of her time in the United States of America running in the indoor circuit has now started to run, move away. McKnight going with her along with Georgie Clark. These three have started to stretch away. Kelly Young doing everything she can to get onto level turns with them in the Tasmania, not going bad there in about sixth position. So Zoe Buckman in front, McKnight there, Georgie Clark's right there. It's gonna be between these three. They've really stretched away from the others. So Zoe Buckman from the ACT against Kayla McKnight and Georgie Clark both from Victoria. So Zoe Buckman in front, she's starting to stretch away. McKnight trying to make a move along with Georgie Clark. Buckman in front, can she hang on? McKnight starting to lift. Georgie Clark trying everything she can to get to them. It's still Buckman in front. Zoe Buckman looking very good, she's gonna be hard to run down. McKnight starting to lift. Buckman in front, McKnight coming on the inside. Zoe Buckman will hang on from Kayla McKnight and Georgie Clark into third position. The Tasmanians got up for fourth position. That's Melanie Daniels along with Kelly Young and also a good run there from Melissa Duncan. Oh, great race there with Zoe Buckman gallantly hanging on from about 400 metres to run. And what a great final of the women's 1500 metres.